What's up, good people? This is Isaiah. And as we look at the tape here, I'm actually shooting this video to determine, well, actually, I'm shooting this video to answer the question about how on earth I, like, my thought process on doing pulls, determining what characters to grind for, or grind, yeah, what characters to grind light or shadow for, and things of that nature. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I figured I shoot it anyway, right? To just make my thoughts stay known in this particular case, right? Like I commented on Gamer Dad's Will's video about how I had completed um, at least four character, four free characters in the last two months, right? That being Ash Tier, Colette, Aisha, and Surge, right? Surge I completed this month. Um, but I had finished like four free characters, but on top of the four, I had also finished a lot of other characters as well. Okay, like if you were to include gotcha characters, that number jumps considerably from four to like, <laughs> I don't even know what the number is. All right, so, and then I got asked like, how or why? You know what I mean? <clears throat> so part of it is, um, or let me just double check the comment here. Yeah, wow. Yeah, Will says, wow, that's amazing. Sometimes I wish I had the subscriptions. And the subscriptions definitely does help because you got to understand in any given month, with the, I have both, okay? So because of the subscriptions, you're bound to get anywhere between 30 to 50. I don't think it's actually ever been 50. I think it's only been like 40. But I'm going to just shoot for 50 because, you know, you never know. You get 30 to 50 shadow points, light or shadow, to put toward any character, all right? And these are like more like... um the hard set so basically you pick the character and then they get like all of them right so for example and this is point number one with really abusing the trials so abusing may be the wrong word but taking advantage there we go we'll use that taking advantage of the trials i'm just looking for a character here that um okay otaha here at 238 so this month there's 17 she needs 17 of them remember that 17 guiding light so if i go to awards here and i go to trials which i've already used all right if we look at the very bottom trials of progress that's 20 additional light or shadow 20 because it says bonus here and typically when there's a bonus it's multiplied by two so 10 times two is 20 right so if i gave that to that lovely little katana user here let's sort by light there we go she only needs 17 so of course say i gave her i'm like, okay i selected her as my character right she would then be completed but then she would have, we would have three Guiding Light Katanas left over, all right? And this is my second point here, okay? When it comes to maxing out certain characters is really, really taking advantage of the leftover um, Guiding Light Luring Shadows that you actually have, all right? Really taking advantage of it. So for example, if I go to items here and I forget, where would they be? Memoirs, no. Um, enhancement items, perfect, right? <clears throat> so, as we look at the, as we look at the tape, <laughs> we can see we have 65 guiding light staffs, 12 guiding light swords, six axe, 44 lance, 23 bows, one fist, 21 katanas for luring shadow, 69 luring axe, one bow, 109 fists, 211 hammers. So, really making use of this backfill here, okay? And you don't just get these from paying for the game. You get them as really random awards, rewards for doing certain things, right? You may find some in a chest, right? While running a new dungeon or something, you know what I mean? Or during the story, you may find a hidden chest somewhere and, oh, okay, cool, I got me some guiding light swords. You know, you'll get them as rewards for um, completing episodes. You know, so if I were to go say, we'll say absolute chain here. Wow, that took forever to load. And then I were to open up the reward list here. As you can see, at 3000, you get two luring shadow lances. You know, so really taking advantage of that because those could all be used for the character of your choice. You don't have to use them on a free character. You can use them on any character you want in that particular case. So completing all of the, um, uh, awards list for every single episode, right? I don't think, I don't think I've completed anything. 
Um, I'm still in chapter three, for crying out loud. Um, I don't think, let's see. Come on now. Um, obtain your first, this doesn't, I don't know what any of this means. So not much here that we can actually work with, okay? But for the others, right? Actually maxing out the amount you would actually need to get what you want. So this one here, this is at 311,000. So if I were to scroll down here, look at my list. All right, I'm only at 311,000. So when I get to 360,000, that's three guiding light staffs. You know what I mean? 400,000, we're at the one chance script. Okay. Um, so really completing out all of these, you know, because again, you're going to get a bunch of extras, you know, on top of chrono stones. Okay, there we go. Um, 827,000, but we'll say 722,000. Kind of like hammer. We're not even close to that, you know, so I got some work to do. So that's again, that's another thing. Making use of that extra, of those extras, really. Like if I had a character, let's see. We'll go with staff because there's more staff uses in the game than anything. Um, let's see here. So I don't know, let's just use a more melody, for example. So I have 65 right now. I can give melody all 65. You know, and the more I kept doing that, the faster she would she would be completed at 255. Now I don't get melody nearly as enough enough <clears throat> when doing my pulls. Um, so because of that, she's only at 104. But based on the fact that she's at 104, and I put nothing into her, that tells you that I do get her quite a bit. All right, when I do my pulls, okay. Um, and then also again, point number three here doing your pulls, okay? For those of you that would have like 20, 30,000 um, <clears throat> chrono stones. Like I really envy you. I'm, I don't know how you, I don't know how you guys do it to be honest with you cuz I'm the type to I would run a dungeon like man. <laughs> I'd either run a dungeon or do a lot of pulls hoping that I get say not the featured character, but any character that I'm trying to max out that's free. And what I mean by that is <clears throat> take surge for example, he was the last of my uh, free characters that I done completed out here, <clears throat> right? So Surge, Guiding Light Sword. All right, Guiding Light Sword. So naturally, I'm like, all right, I wanna work on Surge. I'm running the dungeons. I got some Chrono Stones that I can use. Okay, cool. Let me go over here and make a pull. So I'm looking at the drop rates here. I'm looking at this here. I'm looking at it going, okay, 0.72%. All right. I have a maxed out Hardy. I have a maxed out King Claude. That's what they should have named him, by the way. King Claude. <laughs> anyway. But I have a maxed out. I'm like, okay, cool. What are the odds of me getting a maxed out Claude? You know, what are, what are the odds of me getting a Claude at the sword base? You know what I mean? Um, okay. I'll take the chance with the pull. See if I get them, okay? And if I did, then that's 16 additional Guiding Light Swords that I'm like, oh, okay, let me go ahead and just give these to Surge here and then finish them off. And then he was done. On top of me running TTW, which of course has a, there's a chance you can get three Guiding Light or Lowering Shadow based on who's in the party and whatnot. There's a chance you can get, you know, three, a drop of three. Which obviously speeds up, how long it takes you to finish up a character, right? So, <clears throat> when it comes to banners, right? First of all, I say this all the time, that I only do polls on paid banners, all right? <clears throat> Except for the one I was just looking at, right? So I wanted to try my luck with it. Um, but most of the time, it's only paid banners, all right? Or, um, it's like banners that feature, say, like, um, like last month, it had featured... Mariel, um, and I forget who else was in the banner. <laughs> I forget who else was in the banner, but it was Mariel and someone else. And the drop rates were like 1% for all of them. And each of the characters that were listed, I had finished. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to run a pull on this. I'm going to pull this like mad. Why? Because those characters are maxed out. You know what I mean? So I'm like, if I get a Mariel, yes, she's maxed out. It's 16 additional guiding like this. If I get, say, a Lele, for example, she, I don't even think she was featured. It may have been Chio, for all I know. I don't know. But let's say it was Lele. Okay, cool. If I get her, another style version of this, has 16 Guiding Light staffs, so I can put toward anybody, right? 
And that's how I made that decision. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull on this matter, right? But those of you that save up your chronostones, right? It can really speed up the process for you. Like you, you could be looking at it like, okay, wait, I have <clears throat> 30,000 chronostones, okay? And you're looking at the characters that you currently got because you want the new character, you want the new thing, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not knocking anybody that wants a new character. Personally, I could care less. The only the one I'm looking forward to is uh, the, the new Shade Staff user. Um, what's his name? Uh, I don't even know the guy's name. Uh, let's see here. Let me go to another Eden unreleased characters. And they're saying his name is going to be Yakumo. That's what they're saying his name is going to be. That may change. Who knows? <laughs> hey, so... Say I did a point, I didn't get the character. I'd be like, okay, cool. That's fine by me. Because typically what's going to come along with that character are a bunch of other characters that I've already completed. And because of that, okay, let me put more time and resources into finishing up some of these other characters, right? Because again, like I said, it makes finishing up others far easier the more you have maxed out. So like I said before, finishing up staff users, <clears throat> light staff users is a cakewalk for me right now right like Aisha she finished she was, I think she was, like I said Surge Aisha um those two were the last three light based characters I had completed other than that I had completed as you can see here Bavette Chio Eva Flam Lele Muriel she's been done for about two and a half years <laughs> okay Mighty I finished a couple days ago Seven he's been done for a while Yuna's been done for just as long as freaking Muriel has been Arena, no no palm, um, crab here. Um, like they've been done for a while. So typically, because I have so many of them finished, if I did a pull and I got any of them, I was like, oh, okay, cool. There's more guiding light stabs that I can put toward wherever the next free character is going to be. You know what I mean? And that again, that's that, that's my approach to it. All right. It's like, take for example, I have these additional, what was it, sixty-five. Guiding light stabs. I said, like, okay, well, who am I going to give this to? Right? So, and again, this is for, this is mainly for those that say save up chronostones, because this, this can actually come in handy. Because, say you had like 50,000 chronostones just ready to use, all right? And you, you do, you do, you constantly keep doing your pulls, okay? And you're getting, you're not getting the banner character, you're getting other characters, right? At some point, you're going to max out one of these gotcha characters at least one of them if not 10 of them you're gonna max out some of them all right and it's probably going to be staff users all right so you've maxed out your staff you probably have an absolute crap ton of guiding light staff okay you have an option here do you give the extra guiding light staff to a free character or do you give it to a gotcha character personally i would say give it to a gotcha character why because if again you know banner characters being released you're saving chrono stones and based on your previous experience where you got mostly you know staff based users okay then you're like okay i'm gonna do these polls it would be nice if i had if you got something extra out of it right so if you didn't get the banner character right you're getting something else out of it right so when i did the poll on say um, I don't have any, I don't have enough Chrono Stones to actually do any pulls. I can go get them. Hold on a second. Let me go ahead and go get at least a thousand, um, Chrono Stones here. Give me a second. All right. So I did the, I paid the, for the 1000, right? It was only like 30 bucks, whatever. So <clears throat> anyway, so I have the 1000, right? And let's just say, this is my example here. So if I were to go in here and like, okay, you know what? I don't have Alma. You know what I'm saying? I have Alma. But let's just say I didn't have Alma and I wanted Alma. All right. <clears throat> okay, cool. So I'm like, all right. There's there's two known ways to get make that three. I'm gonna say three known ways of getting Alma. The first way is by actually doing a pull on this banner, right? First way. Second way would be like waiting for what are those encounters where they give you tickets? Right? Um, so you like, you do like your 10 pulls or whatever. And then on that 10th pull, you're going to get on the 11th pull, I should say, you're going to get some kind of like five-star unit. Um, the other way, I believe, uh, 
like if you have the trials, for example, and we'll get into that. Well, we talked about that already. But if you had the trials, you can actually use your tickets, <clears throat> and you'll get uh, the option to select seven, I believe. And one of those seven, if you don't have Alma, you select Alma. Okay, cool. You know, that's another way to get her. Um, but let's just say I didn't have her, though, right? So we have Lele and Alma. I have a maxed out Lele. You know, typically, I wouldn't do it on a banner like this one because I have a maxed out Lele. Now, if I had a maxed out Alma as well, then I would also do my poll for... I would, I would actually look forward to doing this poll, right? <clears throat> and again, the reason why is because I, have, I would have them maxed out. Like in this particular banner here, I have a maxed out, have a maxed out Flam. I would look forward to a banner like this one because the two characters, I have two of the <coughs> characters maxed out. Um, Claude, Hardy, maxed out. Um, but if I did my poll here, and I'm just doing this for you guys here to further like reiterate my points, okay? Prime example, right? Yeo is done. I got one additional guiding light staff that I can put toward anybody in the game. So if I don't, well, any axe character, any light axe character, I should say, in the game. So if I kept doing pulls, right, and I had, like, my, let me just finish this up real quick. <clears throat> Soria, she's done. Come on now. Leclerc, nice, 16. Come on. I just want to get this over with. <laughs> All right, cool. So, <clears throat> prime example here. So, uh, Yeo, done. Soria, done, right? I didn't get the Bannered character. All right? In my eyes, okay, I didn't get the Bannered character, but I did get additional Light and Shadow for someone. Okay? I got some additional Light and Shadow. And I understand that the more of these characters that we have finished, the more extra we get thus making it far easier for us to finish up or max out on Light and Shadow for other characters. You know what I mean? So take Leclerc, for example. We got 16 additional Guiding Light uh, Bow. I don't even know where she's at, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see. Bow. Light. Um, she's at 156. So we got 16 additional Guiding Light Bows. Okay, cool. If you had... Every character outside of the free ones done, you would not be mad about a single pull you make. Okay? Why? Because every pull is going to result in you getting 1, 4, or 16 Guiding Light or Luring Shadows, which you can then use to finish up every other free character in the game. Okay? Sure, you didn't get the Bannered character, but so what? There's other opportunities to get the Bannered character. All right? So... <clears throat> Again, this video here is really just explaining my overall thought process when it comes to getting, um, you know, or who determine, who I determine who I'm going to be grinding for, who I'm going to be giving my extras to, right? Like, I don't think I have enough, actually. Nope. I don't have enough to finish Yukino right now. If I did, I would complete her. Okay. Um, which I'll probably complete her hell next month right just because <laughs> this is you know what i mean so you might as well you know um also understanding that if i do that if i if i gave her like the 23 right now she's only what six away at that point i would use say for five drop bonus we'll get 10 i'll give her the 10 get the extra four and then use it on say the next available character which in this case would be leclerc all right but again that's really my overall thought process when it comes to finishing up different characters and things like that. Like, for example, because um, I finished up Flam and Eva last month, and my thought process for them was they were so damn close to being done, right? Eva and Flam were both sitting at 220. And at the time, um, no, actually, uh, I think it was Eva who was sitting at 220, and Flam was sitting at like 125 or something like that. So I'm like, all right, let me finish up, you know, one of these global first characters here. So I finished her up, and then I'm like, all right, I might as well finish up um, Flamelopus as well because I use her so much. So I'm like, I might as well just finish them, you know, like two of the most overpowered mages in the damn game. I might as well finish them. So <clears throat> with that being my mission, when the Mario ES banner dropped, it was a no-brainer for me 
to, okay, I'm going to do a pull. Because I know, based on the amount of staff characters I have, I'm going to get a staff character, right? Especially from a banner like that. I knew I was going to get a staff character. And I would take the extra, give them to Flamelopus. And sure enough, completed her. She was done. You know what I mean? And that's literally my thought process. Mighty, I finished earlier this month because I'm like, hey, this guy has a true manifest. I might want to finish him up. So let me go ahead and do that. And I did. You know what I mean? One less staff character to worry about. All right. So again, that, that's really my, my way of actually doing all of this. One, taking advantage of the trials, understanding that, okay, if I'm looking at, okay, who do I give my guiding light shadow and staff to? I'm not going for the overpowered character. I'm not doing that. I'm not I'm not choosing the overpowered character. I did last month for Flam and Eva. That's because they were so close to being done. So I want to finish them, get them out the way, obviously. I'm mainly for Flamella because I didn't have to do anything with Eva because I barely use her, um, which is sad, but I barely use her, if I'm being honest. All right. But I'm not doing that. When it comes to those trials, I'm looking at my pool of characters and asking myself, all right, who's close to being done? from either a light or shadow perspective. So if I look at say, shadow here, I'm looking at this, asking myself, who's close to being done? We have a staff shadow user here. So of course I'm going to my staff, and I'm looking at how many staff characters we got. All right, outside of these two, this is pretty much all we have here. Not that many, right? Those three are free there, but the rest of them, there's not that many. So I'm asking myself, all right, is it worth giving Raven the additional, the, the extra, right? Is it worth it at the end of the day? You know what I mean? And the reason why I would ask myself that question is simple because we don't have that many. To give you another illustration of this here, if I were to go to Hammer, right? The amount of Hammer-based users we have, um, Shadow, fit on this one screen, not including Noah. Or Noxus is other. I'm gonna call him Noah because forget that, right? When I think of Noxus, I think of uh, Final Fantasy 15. All right, we're gonna call him Noah. Okay. <laughs> um, this is it. Same thing for I believe Fist, right? The amount of Luring Shadow Fist characters fit on this one screen. So the question that becomes: If I have extra, who do I give them to? Do I give them to the Gacha character, or? Do I save them? Why, in hopes of they, they'll release another character that is, say, another free character that is, you know, a luring shadow fist that isn't Uquaji. You know what I mean, right? And again, this is one of those cases where I'm trying to figure out who to give what to, right? So again, going back to my hammer example, if this is all we got, sure, I could finish Molina in this video, like right now. I can do that right now. I could finish Bianca in this video okay <laughs> same thing with daisy i can finish up daisy in this video because i have 211 luring shadow hammers okay i can do that right now but considering i don't have noah i'm asking myself is it worth it right do i have to should i complete them considering there's only this is it right these are literally all the paid like the gotcha shadow hammer characters this is it it's like, okay, is it worth it? Probably not. I'll get Noah whenever I decide to do that. And then I'll just give him all of the Luring Shadow, which wouldn't be enough to put him at 255, but it would be enough to get him close so that it would take me maybe like two and a half, three weeks of running TTW to actually finish him off, you know? So again, you know, my, my, my overall thought process to finishing up characters, right? <clears throat> it's... It's pretty calculated in my opinion. Like I said, I can easily finish up Melina, Bianca, and Daisy in this video. Not all three, obviously, but I can finish up one of them in this video. But just because I can doesn't mean I am. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so that, that's really my overall thought, thought process in regards to determining who to grind light or shadow for next. As far as free characters are concerned, I'm thinking about utility of the character, right? Like what can I actually use this character on? You know what I mean? I recently played Chrono Cross for the first time ever. So on the Nintendo Switch. So I'm like, oh, I like this. So yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna work on Surge. Plus he was pretty close to being done anyway. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish up Surge, because why not? Okay. 
Um, but I'm looking at this here. Okay, who would be the next sword-based user? Violet? All right, what is the utility when it comes to Violet? Okay, um, she can, she's an earth-based user who can do an incredible amount of damage, but that takes, like, you can set that up. You know, you can boost her damage with someone like a Yifa. Then I'm like, okay, wait, speaking of Yifa, wouldn't it make more sense to, say, finish up more hammer users here, shadow hammer base users, that way, if I got any extras, I can finish up a Yifa, okay? Because her skill stacks based on how much, I'll, I'll, let me explain this real quick. So <laughs> there's a some Grasta ores that increase based on light and shadow points. There's also a weapon, time restored hammer, light, shadow, spirit plus. Her skill is based on how much spirit she has. I believe it caps at 600, all right? So obviously the higher her spirit, the better that buff is, okay? So things like that. <clears throat> when it comes to, again, free character selection, I'm like, all right, well, like take um, Ukwaji, right? The only reason why I don't give him my extra right now is because he would just he just sits in the back row healing and that's it. He doesn't do anything else for me. You know what I mean? Nothing else. He does absolutely nothing for me. Like he was useful during the LeBlanc fight and that was it. It's the only time I used him, <laughs> okay? So I'm not gonna give him the extra because the utility isn't there for me. Um, if I'm looking at my staff users here from a light perspective, as far as free characters are concerned, um, Starkey, Mayu, Levi, Osaki, right? These four, of these four, I probably won't give any of them anything. Starkey's been replaced. Starkey has been replaced with someone like a Radius, you know, Radius AS, you know, Mayu. I haven't experimented with her. I haven't used her at all. Levy, I just got. Saki, pretty sure she's useless. <laughs> you know, we have enough water-based characters in this game at this point. You know what I mean? With, of course, I have Flam, like overpowered, like mad. Come on now. So. Of course, if I get extra guidance like staffs and I'm trying to determine, all right, which free character do I want to grind for next? I'm not looking at my staff users, all right? Because I have the staff user I wanted maxed out done, Colette here, okay? Because of her scale, you know? I'm looking at, say, others, which would probably be like a fist user, maybe a katana, right? I'm thinking about, okay, how would I use this character? All right, this free character. Okay. Um, and things like that. Like, I definitely will end up finishing Otaha eventually. Because um, she's like 17 away and she's so close. But that's really how I'm making my decisions on who to grind for as far as free characters are concerned. All right. When it comes to the pulls, I'm looking at, okay. I'm thinking about the numbers. Like, okay, axe users. How many axe users do we have in the game? In fact, we can easily find out. That's the number at the top here. There's 19 axe users in the game. A percentage of them are going to be shadow. The other percentage is going to be light. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and put some stock inside of some of these axe users. You know what I mean? Um, like Yazuki here. If I had it, I would finish it. You know what I mean? Um, the reason why, because I understand that the more of them I have finished, the quicker I can get to that one there. Or Alea. You know, I have her at 80 for the extra skill and that's it. But... You know, first Thunder Zone. It was her and, uh, uh, what's her name? Um, wow, I'm trying to blink here. Me. You know what I mean? But that's kind of how that helps. All right, final point here, because <clears throat> I'm looking at Me, you, is abuse extra styles, right? Meaning, Me, you, prime example two swords, one lance. You only have to complete one of them to complete the other, right? So if you constantly get Miyu in either version, right? By the time her extra style is released, she's maxed out already. This is exactly what happened when Mariel dropped, okay? <clears throat> when I got Mariel back in the day, I don't think anybody knew she would get a manifest weapon 
I don't think anybody knew she would get an extra style. I don't think anybody knew she would get another style. All right. <clears throat> Got her back in the day. Okay. Haven't touched her in years. All right. Realized she had a manifest weapon. Okay. Got the manifest. Thought nothing of it. Finished up the fight. Thought nothing of it. All right. She was done. Long time ago. <laughs> right. Her and Yuna. Two characters. Her, Yuna, and uh, Suzette. Done. Very long time ago. All right. <clears throat> and when I say done, I mean maxed out. Long time ago. So, of course, when the extra style of those characters, mainly Mariel and Suzette, came out, all I needed to do was either grind for the things required to side grade them or just do a pull and get them. In both cases, I did pulls and I got them, which of course, <clears throat> if your Mariel was sitting at 254 and you're looking at this fist and you're like, oh man, I don't have guiding light fist so I can't upgrade her. I can't finish up Mariel here. Well, if you have 100 or say 20, Guy ain't like staffs, then just switch your style. And then finish her off. Cause that applies to the other versions of Mariel. You know what I mean? So yeah, a bit of a longer video, but you want to explain my overall thought process for how I determine who to grind for. Why do I grind the way I do? <clears throat> if you can call it that, um, why I make the pulls that I I I, I make. Um and then, of course, like I said, leave you all with some, like, key concepts to really think about. Like I said, for a free-to-play characters who save up a bunch of Chrono Stones and you don't get the featured character, it's not it's not bad news. Sure, the featured character may be overpowered as hell. Of course, right? It was like that when Flam came out. God, jeez. <laughs> when she came out, I got her. I'm like, okay, cool. I don't know what this kit's about. Let's see. Started using Neptune. And I'm like, what on earth just happened? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay. But again, it like whether I got it or not didn't really matter to me because there was other ways to make characters overpowered. Okay, if I didn't have Flam right now, it'd be like I just swap her out for Eva or Lele. You know, especially Lele in particular. My God, like she, she equals Flam as far as damage is concerned, easily. You know, it just takes MP, which is no big deal. So anyway, um. For those of you that save up your Chrono Stones and you're spending all of this on Chrono Stones, understand that the most, the more characters you have maxed out at 255, you're getting something out of your pulls, okay? You're not just spending your stones. I'm not getting the banner character. I'm pissed off. No. If you had every character in the game maxed out and you did your pulls and you didn't get the banner character, guess what? You got extra Guiding Light, sha got guiding light or Luring Shadows for your characters. So when another free character comes out, like in that new Tales cro promo crossover, you can finish them up. You know what I mean? And and it comes in handy, you know, because then you're free to experiment with different team comps and things like that at their maximum potential. Or you're actually able to do that. You know, you can have a maxed out team, 255 for all characters. You can really begin to really experiment with the kind of damage that some of these characters can really put out you know next thing you know you'll be making youtube videos and i'm like all right look here's what the damage is like for these maxed out characters you know what i mean so okay that's pretty much it for this one bit long i know but hey it is what it is all right i'm going to get out of here and um i will talk to you all later